Hello, my name is Simon Lawan. I'm the president of the Glasgow Rotary Club for the year 2014-2015. We're very excited to talk to you about our projects and initiatives for the upcoming year and years to come. Uh, our team is going to talk to you about our projects and uh, uh, we'll start with Lisa. Hi, my name is Lisa Smith and I am honoured and privileged to be a member of the Rotary Club of New Glasgow for the past 11 years. A club that makes a difference by lighting up our community through local service projects where we reach out to children through Read with Rotary, a project that promotes literacy while financially supporting our local library. We help less fortunate families at Christmas have a memorable Christmas through our Christmas Family Project, an initiative our members have been supporting for in excess of 10 years. We donate, prepare, and serve a hot, nutritious meal to over 100 people in need, including children, teenagers, seniors, and the homeless in partnership with Shepherds Lunchroom. Contribute to creating a healthier community through a cleaner environment in our Adopt a Highway program, another initiative our members have been supporting for well over 10 years. We also participate in the town's Canada Day celebrations by hosting a barbecue at Rotary Park for all who come to view the spectacular fireworks display. And we sponsor an array of community organizations and events from a children's music festival to junior high competitive sports, from the Admiral Murray Sea Cadets to the Carmichael Stored House Historical Museum, and adaptive equipment for the disabled in our community wellness center to a family picnic area at Rotary Park. As Rotarians, we are very proud of the investments we've made in our community, and we believe that this commitment and momentum of our local service projects are really a reflection of service above self. Thank you. My name is Jean Parker, and I want to talk to you about the international project that is dear and near to our club members. We are keeping girls in school in Uganda. It sounds simple, but it's quite complicated because once you finish elementary school, your parents have to pay for you to go to school. And in this area of Uganda, money is really hard to come by, almost impossible. So for the last seven years, seven years ago rather, we entered a partner, partnership with the Mbarara Club in Uganda, and this partnership continues today with the help of Rotary Clubs, businesses, and individuals in four different provinces, and the Rotary Foundation. We've built a hostel for girls to live in. We've supplied four different water tanks so the students are no longer trucking for water. We supply the eco stoves for the, um, for the school, which is severely or significantly reduced the amount of wood they have to buy and burn and we built a solar panel, and we paid the tuition for 40 girls to continue in secondary school. We're continuing the tuition payments, and we're helping to develop another school that's just over the mountain from this little tiny community in Southwest Uganda. We're proud of our initiative, and we invite any Rotary Club in our district that is not onto an international project, get in touch with us, and we'll give you something to do. Uh, last year, we uh, adopted as a club a strategic plan, and that strategic plan was with the uh, goal of uh, increasing the impact and exposure of our club within the uh, community. Uh, to implement it, we uh, created a position of, of coordinator, and uh, my name is Vernon Parker, and I, that is one of the roles that I've uh, taken on. Um, we've had uh, five different uh, strategic areas to, that's been identified. However, uh, this year we've decided that uh, we really are focusing on membership because that is the key to, uh, to a successful uh, Rotary Club. And in doing that, we're actually reestablishing some of the uh, uh, kinds of um, activities that we've had in the past. For example, a uh, buddy system, uh, fireside chats, we are going to do that actually at Rotary meetings. Uh, we were, we're introducing membership or mentoring for new members and uh, <clears throat> to add a little bit of fun and, and so on to our meetings, uh, the Happy Dollars and the uh, Secret Reader. Uh, we are also reintroducing uh, new member booklets and induction ceremonies uh, for our members. Uh, one of the uh, projects or one of the other uh, focuses uh, this year is our Whitman Rotary Park. That's a park that has been in existence since 1961 when we first uh, purchased the uh, land. And in 1988, uh, we 
actually leased additional land from the town of Nelasco. And uh, it's interesting that uh, in May of 1987, uh, this park was uh, highlighted in one of the editions of the Rotarian magazine. Um, <clears throat> this year, uh, being a focus, uh, our uh, committee that we've established for the Rotary Park um, is introducing seven or eight major activities to, uh, or actually functions to, uh, uh, to improve uh, the, uh, the park. Uh, that includes signage, a uh, public garden, a celebration wall for the community, and uh, a gazebo for the use of us as Rotarians and in terms of uh, uh, having fun and fellowship and uh, doing some fundraising and so on, but also as a facility for the uh, community wide to use for their fun and enjoyment. Well, thank you for listening for our club and our initiatives. We would like to invite you to our first North Nova Scotia Family Rotary Day on December 13th. You can visit our club runner for uh, New Glasgow Rotary Club for more information. Have a Rotary Day.